you can have a bad practice or a bad game, but once you walk through the door, you gotta kind of go into dad mode, go into husband mode, you know, be there, um, be there, be present, you know, not just being there physically, being there mentally and, and uh, emotionally. What's up everybody? This is Darren Hilliard from Maccabi Tel Aviv. Welcome to my home. What do I do usually during the week, man? It's, it's mainly just kids and basketball. You know, it's not really anything outside of that. You know, the kids, the wife, and, and just basketball. Drop the kid off at school, go to the gym, pick him up, come home, and then whatever he wants to do, you know, whether it's the arcade, the beach, the pool, um, you know, just trying to keep them active, keep them, keep them outside, you know, stuff like that. So. Day one. She's been. See, we've been together since college. Took a little break when I got drafted by the Pistons. Um, but yeah, she's been. She's been right there, right by my side, supporting. Being my number one fan, you know, and just real soldier. It's just great to be a part of this journey with her, you know, because like I said, I wouldn't be able to do any of this without her, for sure, so. two days or a day before the game, you know, just to, I'm training 30 in a couple of days, man, so I gotta keep my body young and I gotta, you know, be able to keep up with these, these, these guys that the EuroLeague are bringing in now. I like the steamer more than the sauna. So you're here, you're here. 15 to 20 minutes, go in there, sweat it out, you know, Get my body ready. And uh, I'll see you when I get out. The weather is amazing. Almost it's, it's too hot sometimes, but it wasn't that big of an adjustment. You know, obviously we had to get the kids in school and, and find nannies and stuff like that, but it wasn't, it was great. I thought it was a smooth adjustment. It was really good. I can see why a lot of guys would like to play here. Play in Israel. You know, it's, a, it's a very good, cool vibe. You know, it's good for the family. And uh, the domestic league doesn't go too long either. You know, be home early June. <laughs> that plays a big part. Put this guy on camera because he is. This is this is this is the the clown of the circus right here. Hey. <laughs> this guy. Right Hello. Here. Sure. Playing for Maccabi is like a it's like a big thing out here. You know, it's like I mean, this is a crazy comparison, but it's like playing for the Lakers. You know, almost. As an American, nobody really wants to come overseas to play. They want to play in the NBA, they want to be the star, you know, that's how it goes. So when you see other guys come over and, and experience it and, and they're telling you about how good it is, how competitive and how serious people take it, you know, you kind of get accustomed to that and you kind of, you know, want to be a part of that. Players going to the NBA and EuroLeague, I think that's it's been a, a great positive for everybody. Maccabi does a great job of just, you know, just taking care of us, you know, making sure we're doing our part and, you know, keeping us as physically fit as we can be, you know, so it's great. It's a great club. When you're out here alone, you start to think about, you know, what you're missing and 
and how it could be and how it should be. You know, but then when you get your visitors, you kind of remember, you know, what you do it for, why you do it, and, you know, it gives you that extra push, gives you that extra motivation or whatever word you want to call it, just to, you know, kind of just keep going, you know, realize how far you came. Hey, Josh, I felt that. Uh, Brian, let's go. Not enough. I think we need to start the count over. Let's talk. You get points for those. My guys, good cake. Good cake, guys. For sure. Thank you, man. Y'all safe travels. Yes, sir. Safe travels. Don't get that on camera. <laughs>